So we were talking about engagement distances, 40 yards. Uh, from I know from the angle and uh, point of view of the camera, it seems like it's way far away, but that's just the lens quality. Um, 40 yards is, is across the aisle of a grocery store. 40 yards is walking into a grocery store from your parked car. You're gonna park, well, most people are gonna park about this far away uh, to even enter a store. So that's inversely true. If you're walking out to your car and now you're faced with somebody in a parking lot, it's, it's literally a sea of cover, a sea of concealment. And there's so many aisles and lanes in which are essentially fatal funnels. So if you're trying to move, you might have to actually make some seriously long shots. Uh, this, this drill here really shows um, proficiency with handguns. I mean, when you're stretched out this far with a handgun, you're gonna see your, your group really open up and you're gonna identify some flaws in your shooting behaviors um, and your fundamentals. So I think what I'm trying to say is don't get stuck at the 25 yard line ideology, like that's as far out as you should train. Or don't get stuck at the most engagements happen within three yards. Uh, because I don't know what the, the gunfight I'm gonna get into is gonna look like. I have no idea. If I did, I would train for that every day. So have a very broad spectrum in your training. Uh, practice marksmanship. And uh, another thing I wanna say is practice shooting around cover because Yes, we're now at a flat range. There's nothing in between us. There's no one yelling, screaming in my ear. There's no one running between me and the target. Um, I am, I've got a good steady stance. Like my heart rate is not elevated. You cannot train for these scenarios without doing like sim, sim gun stuff. Um, until you're taking rounds back, like this is all just flat range. And the only thing we're really practicing is, uh, is fundamentals. So I would say when you're when you're training, like incorporate shooting around cover and getting your heart rate elevated, because you don't really know how much different it's going to be in real life if you are in a shooting. Um, is there anything to add to that? Uh, I think I think it was, uh, that's good. Um, I guess you could go forty-ish yards, like you were talking about with the uh, grocery store parking lot thing. If you really are trying, if you, I mean, I don't know if most people have truck guns, but if they do have a truck gun and they are trying to transition to their truck gun, 40-ish yards would be that, like, I'm at my truck, maybe cover it, fire before, engage before I holster and grab my truck gun. Yeah, and that's the, and like, that's the main argument of the truck gun is, like, you don't know, especially active shooter situations, you don't know how far away your target's going to be. Yeah. If your target is 80 plus yards out and you're like by yourself, you're like, I'm going to fucking engage this guy and save somebody's life. Yeah. I'm not going to try to do it with my handgun. You know, I, if I'm next to my truck and my truck gun, I'm absolutely going to, uh, I'm going to use that. And then I guess the other one is if some people would say like, if you're at that, if you're at like 40 to 80 yards with your, and you only have your pistol, do you really need to engage at that point? Well, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. It's like, how much of a threat does someone pose to you at 40 yards? Well, if they've got a fucking AR-15 and you're in a bottleneck of a, of a uh, mall, then I would say you're, you're significantly a threat. Or if somebody walks in the front door of a grocery store and you don't know where the a exits are because you kind of just moseyed in there at 9 o'clock at night, man, like, the only way I'm getting out of there is fucking shoot through the threat. You know, that's in my, in my opinion. That's what I would think. Um, yeah, I'm not saying, you know, go and kill fucking Stormtrooper and, you know, go in the store that you weren't even intending to go in in the first place and try to actively kill a bad guy. Um, that's what cops do. That's what they get paid to do. But uh, I implore you, if you have the fucking balls to do that shit, um, save someone's life, you know.